Good morning. My name is Jay and this is a poster which shows us all the smaller books that make up one big book called the Bible. This side is the Old Testament, all the books written before Jesus was born. And this book, this side is the New Testament, which is all the books written after Jesus was born. Put up your hand if you can tell me which book we have been looking at recently at church. Elsa. Yes, Malachi, the very last book in the Old Testament. Malachi. I wonder who Malachi was. Put up your hand if you think Malachi was a princess. No, no, that's not right. That can't be right. Okay. Put up your hand if you think Malachi was a prophet. Yeah, Malachi was a prophet. And prophets give us messages from God. And in the part of the book of Malachi that we're looking at today, Malachi was saying that God's people can sometimes think that people who don't trust in the Lord get all these great things and those who do trust in the Lord miss out on those things. But Malachi goes on to say that a day is coming where those that trust in the Lord will be like playful calves coming out of their stall. This sounds like a bit of a funny thing to want humans to be, like baby cows. So I've got an exercise for you all to help us understand this a little bit better. I want you all to close your eyes, all the kids, all the adults. And I want you to imagine that you are a baby cow that has been inside a stall all winter. A stall is just like a barn. And inside that stall, there's not much space. There's no fresh grass for you to eat. You haven't seen the sunshine in months. And then finally, one glorious day, the farmer opens up the barn and you're allowed to go outside. So you can open up your eyes now. I want you to put up your hand and tell me, if you would come out of that stall like this, all grumpy, oh, what, they're allowed out? No. Put up your hand if you would come out of that stall so excited, you get to eat fresh grass, you get to see the sun, it's so wonderful, it's so exciting. I've got two volunteers that are going to show us what those cows, those baby cows would look like. Come on. <laughs> okay, so I want you guys to cheer them on. Come on. How excited are you? Yay! Yes! This is wonderful news. Real loud out. The okay, cow you guys can sit back down. So I hope that gives you a better idea of what Malachi was saying. He's saying, on this glorious day that's coming, we, those that trust in the Lord, are going to feel like those baby cows. So that's pretty great. Now, Jesus didn't come until hundreds of years later, after Malachi said those things, and the ones that knew who Jesus was, who trusted in him, felt like those baby cows coming out of their stall. And guess what? We get to feel like that when Jesus comes back. So that's really exciting. What can we do whilst we're waiting for Jesus to come back? Any ideas? Yes, Elsa? Yep, we can read the Bible. We can learn his word. So this is our last week before the memory challenge next week. So I'm going to give us all one last practice of the memory verse challenge, okay? So I'm going to put it here. I'm sorry, it's a little bit small. Now, can anybody remember the actions? You think? Yeah? Yeah, great. So let's, we'll start all to, yeah. Actually, Alice, I'm going to bring you up. I think you, you, you've had some extra help, so I think you should have a good idea of these actions, okay? So do them nice and big for everyone to see. We start with four. My name will be great among the nations from the rising of the sun to its setting. Remember this one? Incense and pure offerings will be presented in my name in every place because my name will be great among the nations. And this one says the Lord of hosts. Now the cool one, Malachi chapter, uh, yep. Chapter 1, first remember we need 11 bits, so you need your head. Your fingers and your head, 11. Very good, thank you, Alice, you can sit down. So when you get your kids' sheets today, you're going to get a happy little cow to remember you of the great day that's coming, how you're going to feel, you can colour that one in. Before you get your kids' sheets, we'll pray. So everybody bow your heads. Heavenly Father, 
Thank you for sending your precious son and please help us to look forward and be prepared for the day that you talked about in Malachi. We pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen.